Hi, my name's Tanya. Um, thanks to Joe Robin, eh? Robinette, hi, from Australia, tropical north of Australia. Um, my friend and I have decided to do the $10 dollar store survival challenge. <laughs> um, not sure how it's all going to go yet with so many differences, um, but right now, Rainbow and I, <coughs> Rainbow say hi. Hi, 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 hi! Uh, going to go for a walk, a little recce around here. This is fairly close to town and I think there's some fresh water. It would be a good spot just to do a quickie 24 hour pretend survival thing. Um, and there's another place, Coastal, which we're thinking about as well, but I'm not best friends with crocodiles, so we're not sure about that. Um, we're just going to have a walk around here and see what we find. Hey, this one's in the ground. Yeah. What are you getting? Beans. And what is it? It's, um... Where did it come from? It comes from that tree. Okay. And they're going to grow more. So what's inside there? Can you break one open? Okay, it's a flower. Mm. So while we're here, we'll just mention that today is um, about 32 degrees. It is officially the wet season, which means it gets hot and rainy. And look! Tropics. It hasn't really started raining yet. Let me get that focused. Keep still. It hasn't really started raining yet. Cool. But it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter until it does. So, we found the creek bed. <coughs> uh, dry creek bed. Goes along a bit that way. Um, I hoped that it was spring fed, but it seems it's probably just seasonal. We'll go a bit further and check it out. For anyone not from the tropics, this uh, nut is from the pandanus. And they fall down when the fruit thing that they surround is ripe. Um, here's the pandanus. These are quite lanky and tall. They're not always like this. Uh, in there, you probably can't see it. Sad at the moment, waiting for the big rain. Some people like to, I don't do this very often because I think maybe it doesn't grow properly after you do this, but we'll do it one time. And take the middle. It's like the core of. Mom! Mum. Many things, yep. Or you collected some pandanus too. And those middle of those flowers. So these are um, triangle shaped. Can you kind eat of white. those? Yeah. You can chew on that. And just where it gets tough, too tough to chew, that's when you stop. And when you've been chewing it for a while, it goes blue. 
or purple. Stop I'm just changing it to bite it hard with those back teeth. Yep. Well, let's have a look now. It's starting to change. And once you've been going for a while, it really changes. Let's keep walking. Can you um, eat this? Yeah, that's why you're chewing it. I see this. Mm -hmm. And if it's too tough, you can take the outside one off. And the middle one might be more soft further down. Yep. So, what do you find? I think I found. I probably don't know what it is. You might know. What do you think it is? Horse pee. Horse. Horses. Horses big. You think they have a big bottom? No, I think it's a kangaroo. Alright, do you want to show us? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'll pick it up then. I'm going to get light on my screen. Can't see. So we'll just quickly step into the shade. <clears throat> it feels like big cockroach poo. Cockroach poo? I think it is. Big. There we go. What's in there? Rainbow. Oh, what do you see, Rainbow? I just see, um... So what do you think that is in there? Hmm. I don't know. Grass. Grass, I think. You think it could be grass? Uh. We are far from the coast, so I'm a bit, I'm not sure if this is it, but a few months ago we had a cyclone and it did rip up a bunch of trees very shallow root system and they just fall down when the big wind comes um, but like I said we're not really near the coast so I'm not sure if this is why although there are a few down but it may also have been just from the wet ground The leaves are still kind of green up there, so anyway. What did you find? I found this. So, pretend you don't know what it is. So, you do this. You do this. And then you scrub it. And then you scrub it. Anyway, it's too dry to make bubbles. Oh, is it? So sometimes these make bubbles too late. Oh, that one is very crunchy. Mm. But it's true. And magic it, magic it, magic it, magic it. And then so, at this time of year, I'm not really feeling it. Dry Creek 
not going to be somewhere that we stay so we're going to head back to the car and go for another drive and see what we can find um, what I wanted to mention also I said it was 32 or 33 today my weather app says feels like 37 so truth to that it's pretty warm and I'm so glad Rainbow put her jeans on even though we don't usually dress up full hiking for uh, just a little stroll in the bush but we wanted to do it properly so uh, off we go mentioned before that it's been the dry season for like half the year. We have wet and dry, no summer, autumn, winter, spring. Um, and we've had a couple of rains, like literally four rains maybe, I think so far. But the dew sometimes is quite heavy. But already um, we've got these new cycads coming up beautiful little cycads these guys oftentimes just get burned off or die off and then all this is brand new this year and you can tell the grass is dead but suddenly all the leaves have had a little rinse and there's new shoots everywhere through here Lovely to see. The day is getting on. Sun is quite low. Um, haven't found the spots I was thinking about. I've come across a spooky sign that says don't go any further. So I'm not going to pursue that anymore until I find out I'm going the right way. And I'll have to do that all another day but I want to show you something that I got for my daughter Pearl but she couldn't take it this weekend to shakedown camp because uh, it's a shakedown camp she doesn't need a pocket knife so I'm gonna pull that out and have a look show you what I got so in the beautiful bush I'm gonna open this $14.99 pretty cheap knife <clears throat> Uh, I picked this because it's kind of, hang on, let's do that. It's kind of like a multi-tool, but I feel like multi-tools are stupid because it's mostly pliers. And this is mostly knife, but some other knives as well. Bottle opener, knife, fish scaler, mm, looks like a saw, scissors and screwdrivers and a corkscrew. This is from... Uh, where did I get this? Me, uh, we sell fun, it's called. Which is kind of like our local discount camping shop. Nice. It's got a pouch. And of course it's backwards. Right. I'll pick that up, don't worry. Poor Pearl doesn't get to do the unveiling. Well, it feels nice. It's got a good hook on it. Looks a bit stylish. For a 12 year old scout, I think she will like this. I'm sort of sitting on a good old anthill here should not have moved that phone. I wanted to use my camera that I got from my brother, but I haven't tested it out just enough yet to trust that it will work when I press record. Knife. It says, uh, where's the thing? Hmm. It's probably not going to focus, but it does say stainless on there with a little squiggle. 
like the path on there. Uh, it's not going to do a lot to this stick. Let's see. This is quite dry too. Well, I am actually getting... Oh, you can't even see. Maybe I could do that for a long time to start a fire. Um, but it's sharp. Oh, and I'm left-handed. <clears throat> so if I pull it, I am getting a bit more. Hmm. Nothing like a fancy feather stick though, is it? Not quite. Okay. I can't laugh in the video. Okay. So then uh, we open up the next thing. Not the scissors. Not even going to try that because I know that they'll be rubbish. This has got. Oh, you can't focus. It's got this fancy double blade thing going on. Let go, please. Um. Okay. I won't cut my thing. Let's. <clears throat> How do I do this? Okay. I'm just steadying it on the ant hill. Where can you see? But I'm not really pushing down. Oh my gosh! It's actually soaring. I didn't even do much. Alright, I'm not going to spend all day with that. But. I just cut a stick. When I look, but like... let's do an experiment. Why would you bother? Okay, so it's cool. Maybe if you want to cut it so that the ends, you know, is nice and flat. But who's got time for that? All right, cool. Mm. I can easily break. This is uber blunt, and I assume that that's for scaling fish. I should have read the packet. And don't forget, <clears throat> I can easily break this. Okay. Like this. Yeah, it does say fish scaler on there, so that's cool. And Get look, I can break this cra camera. But it actually doesn't have any other instructions, pair, maintenance. I assume and that, I can all the animals come. potentially you'd need to grease in there occasionally. I'm making all the animals to come. I don't think the animals are coming. I did see a kangaroo just before, but he hopped away. So, um... I saw it too. Cool. Great. $15. 12 year old kid. I keep looking at myself. I'm going to have to get the other camera out and use that. But... Mom, look. There we are. So, uh, signing yeah. off from this little recce day that we're doing. Do you want to see Rainbow? We're going to sign off from our recce See, day. this is my new shirt from Christmas. From Charlie. It's for Christmas and from Charlie. Okay. All right. Uh, hopefully, next time we've got something a bit more exciting Mom, to show I'm you. Hold it. I'm um, hold it. And I'll sign off with some Mom, pictures of local flowers that are happening at the moment. And if we come out onto the road and get a good sunset, we'll get that too. Ciao. Ciao. Press the button. No, I'm not. I'm not pressing.
Hi guys, it's Doc.